Hi, I'm Heather Kennedy with the California Democratic Party here in front of the state capitol on a beautiful summer afternoon to tell you about the Yes We Can California 08 campaign, an effort to inform voters about the Democratic candidates and issues. Lots of people are calling this summer the summer of change. Democrats are working hard to make sure this change happens from the local level to the state legislature. Together, we are registering thousands of new citizens each month. Earlier this month in Sacramento, we registered 200 new citizens and welcomed them as the newest members of the Democratic Party. Yo nací en Zamora, Michoacán, y en 1972 me hice ciudadana de los Estados Unidos. Yo me gradué de la secundaria en 1973, al, al igual con una de mis hijas, porque yo quería ser, servirle a mi gente. Me hice bilingüe, me hice ciudadana, me, me hice mamá, pero a la vez sigo siendo ciudadana. Tuve mi licencia preescolar, tuve la oportunidad de, de, de trabajar con mucha gente. A, a la presente yo interpreto gente desde mi casa. Da mucho gusto ver que sigan trabajando. Sacramento County Democrats came out in force to help register new citizens, and Republicans, well, they showed up. Spirits were high and patriotism was on display two days before Independence Day. Volunteers were all well prepared to work with the high energy level. Training was provided by the Sacramento County Democratic Party. Special thanks go out to Executive Director Sam Catalano, Voter Registration Director Ralph Cyphers, and all of the volunteers that were involved. New citizens pledged allegiance to the United States and took their first steps as the newest members of the Democratic Party. Since the beginning of 2008, over 4,500 citizens have been registered as Democrats thanks to the combined efforts of the Democratic Party of Sacramento County and the Stonewall Democratic Club. I'm from Armenia and my name is Inara. I think I'm going to go with Obama because um, I just think that we need a change. This past May, Californians were asked to share their personal stories about the budget deficit. Over 60 videos were submitted and thousands of people took a stand against the governor's proposed budget cuts. The winning video for the Summer of Change video contest was made by a film student at USC who was asked by friends to make a video. Her friends are pharmaceutical students who are worried about possible cuts to health care. Here now is the winning video along with two of the other top six. Californians listen to me. I'm only six, but I can tell you, sacrificing our future is no way to balance the budget. It's short-sighted and we deserve better. Don't forget the petition. Take action by signing a petition at summerofchange08.com. Because together, we can make change happen. Hi. California faces an $8 billion budget deficit. To solve the problem, we have proposed to cut funding in the following. After school programs, student aid services, livestock health inspections, yeah. public hospitals, emergency planning, communicable disease programs, electricity oversight. Oops. Go to summerofchange08.com and sign the petition. We are constantly on the lookout for more videos about what's at stake in this year's election. If you or somebody you know would like to feature a video, please upload it to YouTube and send the link to jeff at cadem.org. Come election day in November, we will have the chance to decide the next president of the United States. But the stakes don't end there. We can increase the Democratic majority in the House of Representatives. We can end the annual deadlock on the state budget by electing a two-thirds majority to state legislature. 
Karen Bass, our new speaker of the assembly, spoke at a barbecue about our commitment as Democrats to creating change this summer. Our Republican colleagues believe that the way that we can deal with this issue is to make $15 billion of cuts, but over the last few years, we've cut the fat, we've cut the meat, and now we're down to the bones. And when we're talking about the bones, we are talking about the programs like education and health and human services that are vital for our community. So as we go out in these next few days, we're gonna need your help because we have a budget now and we have a budget that we can believe in, we have a budget that we can be proud of, and we have a budget that we can fight for. And so we're gonna need all of your help. But I really do believe that the problem that we're facing in California is a national problem. But we are in an incredible moment of history. Amen. There is technology now that can be used to get people involved in ways that we could never imagine. We have to make sure that we do everything, whether it's dollars, whether it's phone banking, whether it's door knocking. We have to make sure that we win in November. We have an opportunity to take back our country, yes. and we have an opportunity to change the world. Yes. And I'm down for that, and I know that everybody here is. Thank you. Thanks for watching our first video update. For more information about what the party is doing in your area, please access cadem.org. Remember, please email jeff at cadem.org if you have any videos you would like to share with us and the rest of the state. Until next time, this has been Heather Kennedy with the California Democratic Party, checking out. See you later.